Hi, I'm Nadi Dansari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about emissive color in Material. So, without any further ado, let's begin. If you just joined this video series of how you can create a advanced material in Unreal Engine 5, you should know that I tried to create this video series from scratch of how you can just uh, add constant, how you can have uh, textures, and all of that. We just start from beginner level, and now we are going through all of these options in our material. For example, in first video, we did talk about base color. In second video, we talk about metallic, specular, and roughness. And we use constant for changing the value on them, and we use textures as, as well. And I did show you how we can create cool stuff with just this four input in here, right? So now I'm gonna show you the emiss emissive color. Let's just not connect anything to it. Just hold tree and left click, just create a constant tree vector in here, change its color to red, for example, okay, or blue. Ever. and connect this to emissive color create an emissive color on our material uh, we can change the shape in here and you can see it clearly let's just go back to plane and what is cool about this emissive color is that when you double click on this constant vector you can overdrive all of these values so i don't want it to be ground put zero in here and I, in blue i want to overdrive it not just one i want to put like 20 in here okay so let's just hit okay. and now you can see it glows it's like a uh, part of lightsaber we can use this effect in here with this emissive color to create a lightsaber let's just go back go to this mode and you can see it it looks cool right again and let's just go back again to plain view plain preview like this in here and you can see it look cool again we can overdrive this by 100 for example okay hit okay and now you can see it looks beautiful now i want to show you how you can drive this emissive color with a texture so let's just delete this in here and select one of these texture for example this uh, hex, hex style in here just drag and drop it and it will create a texture example uh, texture sample if you don't know what texture samples or constant just watch my first video about materials so in here if we connect this rgb to emissive color and what will happen is just showing this picture in uh, with a low light right so what we can do about that i want to do this part that is here to glow and this part that is inside uh, i don't want it to glow so how what we can do about that let's just go to content drawer and double click on this texture and you can see if we enable all of this um, red green and blue channel in here you can see it it's just showing you your texture but if you disable the blue and green you can see the red look like this the green look like this and blue is look like this what we want is this green just white and black you know that if you watch my videos about materials you know that white is one and black is zero right so this part of this texture in green channel is one and this part of our texture is zero you remember if we just put a constant in here let's just put a constant in here right now it is black right so if we change it to one it will be white so let's just connect it to base colors so we'll see it no if we hold alt and disconnect this and connect this to a mist glowing some light in here so whatever that is white it will glow and if you multiply this one by something like 100 it will glow more light from it right this looks beautiful so one way to multiply it you can just put a value in here like 100 but with texture you can't do that okay in texture you can see this is this white portion of this texture is one and this black portion of this texture is zero so in here we just have one and zero in this texture we can't you we can't just uh, say 100 in a texture it's just between zero and one okay so what we can do we can right click in here and use multiply okay and with this multiply we can connect this constant to here and connect the output of this to emissive color and with that we can multiply it by 100 and now you can see it glow more light so let's just do that with our texture so let's just delete this and i want to add our texture that is here let's just go to our material in here i want to add texture here okay you know that we want to have green channel because the green channel has information of white and black and what this emissive color needs it's it, it is white and black you remember when we put one in here it glows something if you put 100 in here it glow a lot okay so we want to use gr green channel so when we connect it you can can see the the white part it glows somehow but the black part it's not glowing at all okay so what how we can multiply it i did show you with constant so let's just do it for texture okay just right click and say multiply okay 
So with this multiply, we can multiply multiply this green channel and connect the output of this multiply to here. I want to multiply it by 100. And now you can see just this white part is glowing, okay? Because just this white part is 1 and this black part is 0. So whatever you multiply by 0, it will be 0 again. And this white, white part, we multiply it by 100 and it gives us this glowy effect. But how we can change the color of this glowing effect? How we can do that? So let me show you. First, let's just bring this in here so we have some space in here and what i want to do i want to hold three and create a um, constant tree vector double click on it and change the color of that so for example and what we want to do we want to multiply whatever value that is in here with this constant tree vector so again search for multiplier and connect the output of this to here and connect the output of this uh, 3d vector constant to here and if you want to see what will happen with this multiply you can just click on here and you can see no it changed the color of this green channel of this texture and you can see it here so now if we connect this to here the white part change its color to blue and it's glow it's beautiful right and you can see it in here of course we could just um, add this multiplier before this multiplier and you can see it better in here so let's just do that fast okay I want to paste it here and I want to multiply this green channel first in here and after that connected to this multiplier in here that is multiplied by 100 and you can see the green, uh, the green channel is like this it has white and black information in it and with this multiplier by uh, constant 3 vector it make it, it make it blue and with this multiply it we overdrive the values in here so let's just connect this to emissive color and you can see it again it give us that cool effect of glowing white part and we changed the color of that i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye